Hi, everyone. I'm Heather Paduska, star maker for entrepreneurs who want to unlock their potential, command any stage, and make blockbuster profits. Welcome to Thrive, the show where I bring you tips, resources, and people to help you create a brand that makes you happy and profitable. Here we go. Hi, I'm Heather Podoska, founder of the Brand Star Academy, where I teach entrepreneurs how to be powerful, profitable speakers and create their own celebrity personal brands. Welcome to Thrive, the show where I bring you tips, resources, and people to help you create a more abundant life and business. You're in for high value content coming to you from industry leaders who are growing their business, making an impact, and rocking their brands. And I'm so excited to have my special guest here today, Trish Carey. Trish Carey is a founding stylist and senior partner at Peach, a new premium fashion brand offering athletically inspired contemporary clothing for gym, work, and play. Trish joined Peach in 2015 as a founding stylist and grew her team to over 150 stylists across the country. Trish has been number one in personal sales and team building across the U.S. for three years running. She's also a board member of Fashion Group International Boston. And today, Trish joins us here on Thrive. Welcome, Trish. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So I'm so excited to have you here because this show is all about helping women and men who are entrepreneurs, who are living bigger and better lives have the resources, tips, and tools, like I said, to create a bigger, better brand and to build their business. And I think that fashion and how you look and your image is a huge part of your brand. Absolutely. Um, at Peach, what we say is always elevate your everyday. Oh, I love that. Yes. That's kind of our newest motto. And it just shows you that what you're wearing every day can be elevated to make you feel good. When you look good, you feel better and I, you perform better. Absolutely. I 100% agree with that. When you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you perform better. I love that. So tell us a little bit more about Peach and why you are so excited. You've done so well in the company. Thank you. It's growing nationally. It's one of the fastest growing um, apparel companies in Absolutely. the country right now. So Peach is basically um, a le women's lifestyle brand. Mm -hmm. Peach was founded in probably the end of 2014. I joined in 2015. And we predominantly were a women's intimate and basics company. Mm -hmm. And we are a startup. We're based in Waltham, Massachusetts. And we grew. And what we've discovered is that women need things that elevate their everyday. Women crave things that are easy. Um, the shopping experience has changed recently over the past couple of years. So we're really filling a void to provide really high quality, well-fitting um, clothing that fits a wide range of sizes and a wide range of ages and activities. Uh, we like to say work, play, gym. Yeah, I love that, that. That kind of That's covers it all, right. right. And um, you know, our newest line just launched last week. Uh, we ha provide five capsule collections per year yeah. that range from intimates and basics to include performance wear yeah. and to include clothing that can take you, and we say from the bar, meaning like the exercise oh, the bar, bar class, right. okay. to the bar with your girlfriends yeah. or out to lunch yeah. or even out to dinner. Yeah. Um, so we really are providing, we're, we're direct to consumer providing athleisure and basics um, throughout the calendar year that cool. fit your lifestyle. Cool. So how you said shopping has changed. So how yes. has shopping changed in the past few years? Why where where is this niche that Peach is is, you know, filling there? Well I kind of look at it as there's two ways that women especially yeah. shop. Yeah. Either online yeah. or in store. Yeah. And unfortunately I'm a shopper, so I can say unfortunately, brick and mortar stores are closing at a very rapid rate. The mm -hmm. industry is just changing. Mm -hmm. um, however, online can be a really dark, scary place. Um, for example, if you were looking for a toaster yeah. and you put in the word toaster into a search engine, you would get a million hits. Right. Unless you knew the specific color, size, make, and model, yeah. you wouldn't really find what you're looking for. And right. that's the same thing with women in fashion online. You yeah. put in black dress, yeah. you know, um, so we feel like we're kind of an in-between. You have a personal stylist. Oh, okay. Um, every customer has their own personal stylist. Um, you have the opportunity to shop in person, whether it's through trunk shows, business-to-business -business collaborations, um, pop-ups shops, um, 
virtual events online, wow. or just our, our, on, our very curated online presence. Um, but you have someone who can answer questions about size and material mm -hmm. and um, anything you want to know about the pieces. So what I find is women will meet or see Peach somewhere and fall in love with the piece, yeah. um, order it with the help usually of a, a real person. Right but then feel confident enough to go back online and have re repeat um, sales because they know the quality, they know the sizing, um, they kind of know what they're getting. It's not just like tapping it in and waiting and see what comes online. And we back this all up with great customer service. Um, we're a startup, we aim to please, mm. and we really value relationships. Well, I love what you're saying because it sounds like the, the founders um, saw a need in the market and they're meeting it in this really unique way and I love that. So how did they how did they make that transition from just online? How did they know that? And I love that there's a stylist there too. So yes. I want to ask you that yep. in a bit too, but how did they did they test? How did they find the right formula, the right cocktail of online and trunk show and say a little bit more about what was the B2B version of that? So we do a lot of business to business collaboration. What does that mean? Um, it means um, anywhere from a, boat, a women's boutique to um, a yoga studio, to a hair salon, to a spinning studio where we support fellow entrepreneurs, uh -huh. especially women's entrepreneurs. Yeah. Women own business, women manage businesses, mm -hmm. that's kind of been our sweet spot. Yeah. And what we will do, and I can give an example, is we will sp spend a day or a week or a couple days popped up as like a special event or a trunk show. Got it. We also couple it with content. So we would provide a lot of, um, we actually call them Thrive events as well. <laughs> we do. I just <laughs> That's saw awesome. that. I was like, and we call them Thrive events, yeah. and they're based on positive psychology. And we will come and do um, learn, learn to flex your superpowers. Nice. Um, nice. How to break the glass ceiling. And we'll speak about it. We'll even use um, some testing methods. And then we'll do a shopping event afterwards. So it brings um, just a lot of partnerships together. It, it brings like minded people together. And it really grows our brand rather than just like throwing something on a website and being like, these are really cute leggings, you should buy them. I love that, I love that because it's really, it's really a new way of doing business and I love that you talked about brand and it's this, you know, when I talk about a personal brand with people, I always talk about the Reese's peanut butter moment because <laughs> most people come and they're like, uh, you know, I don't know how to bring this together. Right. I'm, I'm, I've got this piece over here and this piece over here and I don't see how they fit together. My job is to kind of zip it up. Right. But it's always like, that Venn diagram of how those pieces come together, that sweet spot, right. it's what makes them unique. And I think it's the relationship that people feel they have with Peach when they walk away from yeah. whether it's a vendor event yeah. or a, a business to business or one of these Thrive contents. Yeah. Um, we really support a lot of women, not just by collaborating yeah. with business to business. We we release th five collections a year of athleisure. Mm -hmm. um, we provide basics and intimates. They're the things I always say, like when you go shopping with your girlfriends, you're not out looking for like white t-shirts because it's not the most, but everyone needs them. So right, knowing right. that you can always get quality, right. affordable pieces from your stylist is just some insurance. Right. And the third piece I think you're really gonna like, it's um, we really put our money where our mouth is and we wanna support emerging female entrepreneurs. Yeah, say more about that because I, I was doing the research and I read about that, how you, it's you so showcased special. them and I, that's part of why I wanted to have you on oh, because right. I, I really love fashion and supporting uh, business owners that are women and doing these great things, but I love it that you are also doing that. So say more about that. So our collections and our basics are all exclusive to Peach. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we team up with, we call them emerging or underdiscovered female entrepreneurs yeah. who do an accessory that matches with our collections. Oh, cool, um, very cool. And each season we choose one to three, depending yeah. on the season and the collection. And um, it's been super rewarding on many levels, mm -hmm. but basically we work with them to design or sometimes they do an exclusive peach item that will go with what we're selling that season. Mm -hmm. We learn their story. We sit down and have like an Oprah moment where we find out why. And mm -hmm. so when we sit down with our clients, we can not just provide something that's kind of ahead of the curve or a little bit unique and they mm -hmm. haven't seen before, but we can say, you know, the, the, the developer of these scarves, she worked her entire life 
you know, in the garment industry and had this idea. And because Peach was able to support her and put her on a national platform, this was her biggest, you know, selling point mm. of her career. And the investment Peach made in her, she could put right back into her company. Like a story to tell like that. So we've had such success with these items. Um, some of my favorites have been, um, we've worked with, um, best friends who do have a bracelet bar and they did special gift sets that went with our outfits the mm, holiday season. I love it. We worked with an amazing designer um, outside out of uh, Newport, Rhode Island who does pom-pom hats huh. that we sold out of our pom-pom hats in 19 days. Wow. For this holiday season. We bought 900 hats from her. Wow. Um, it gave her the ability to put a tag on it that said, pink pineapple for peach, follow me at... Wow. Her. So not only are you putting an investment in their business, but you're helping them grow their business. Mm -hmm. And then when these accessories sell out, mm -hmm. they're gone. But hopefully our clients will continue to be clients of theirs. Yeah, I love that. And I love that you said story, right? Story Absolutely. is huge, huge in branding that, that helps your audience engage with you. So I want to hear a little bit more about your oh, story, story. <laughs> Church, because you're such a powerhouse and I, your energy and your passion for this company is clear, I'm sure. You, Thank you. Yeah, and you, but I love also your backstory of athletics and you're doing athleisure wear yeah. and fashion. So tell us, how did you get involved with Peach? Like, what, what was that, that journey for you? Well, it kind of was, um, I do have a background in fitness and wellness. Yeah. And um, always love, always felt very strongly that women should, self-care is really, really important. Mm -hmm. And I was a stay-at-home mom for 10 years and... Um, always said something that's really going to pull me in was going to find me. Mm -hmm. And that could have just been an excuse, <laughs> you know, of that fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. um, my last position um, had been with a wellness company as an event planning and, and marketing. And, and it just wasn't something that I think would have worked well with my lifestyle mm -hmm. now. And um, I learned of Peach when they were kind of getting ready to roll. Yeah. And... Um, had a great conversation and some meetings with some of the leadership of a home office. Mm -hmm. And really the message of women, self-care, um, doing something at your own pace, being authentic, that really spoke to me as a mom, mm -hmm. as a wife. Um, I had a lot of energy and ideas to share, but I didn't really know where I would share them. And I've always wanted to own or be my own entrepreneur, mm -hmm. but really didn't have you have to make a huge commitment in finance and, you know, I wasn't ready to start something of my own. Yeah, yeah. And um, kind of said, you know what, let's do this. Yeah. And that was about three years ago. Yeah. Um, the company has really grown. Uh, we now have probably over about 550 stylists across the country. I believe we're in about 39 states. Wow. And, and growing every day. Wow. So say I called and I was, and I needed help, what are some of the things that a stylist would help me do? Absolutely, so a stylist would be able to share a current lookbook with you. Oh, okay. Or meet one-on-one. -on -one. I actually meet most of my clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis, whether it's seasonal, and they come in like saying, I saw this online, I wanna try it, or they run in. This morning I had someone who ran in and said, I saw this shirt online, I'm going away on vacation mm -hmm. two weeks, I think I need it in every color, but I don't want to just order it blindly. Yeah. I'm um, the go-between. She popped over. Her two-year-old was dancing around in circles. Yeah, yeah. She tried it on. She goes, okay, order me in black and white. Yeah. So it, a stylist is really just someone who is helping their journey, who is making it easier for mm -hmm. them. When we pop up at stores and studios, the first thing women say to me is, this is so easy. Mm. I love this. Yeah, I can see that because I love to touch things. Yes. If, I, if I'm going to buy something, I need to have it in my hands before it. I, I hardly ever buy something sight unseen online unless it's, it's a store I know. Right. I know the sizing. Right. I kind of know already. So I love that that has that in between. And it's a convenience too. Yeah. Um, I have clients who I know their sizes. I know their preferences. Yeah. Each season when certain things come out, I'll reach out to them with links and mm -hmm. photos. And yeah. you know, if you want me to order this for you, great. If not, click right on the link and purchase it yourself. And 
it's just making it's one less thing that busy women have to do. Yeah. So I want to talk. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about how you became such a great salesperson. And what do you think, if you were gonna translate your expertise to someone who wasn't in your industry even, what it really takes to be a great salesperson because that's the, that's the key of building your business. No sales, no moolah, no, right? right? So, yeah, that's very true. So what would you say? Um, I'm not a trained salesperson at all. I, you know, I think sometimes that's the best. Like I, I think so you know? too, because I'm so honest. Yeah, um, I think that the secret sauce is people per, like always say, like, what's the secret sauce? Yeah. And the only secret sauce is you really have to love what you're selling yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to use it. I'm an active woman who gets up in the morning and immediately puts on my workout clothes. Mm -hmm. And if I can change my shoes and a little jacket and then go out to lunch with girlfriends, you've just made my life so much easier. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like a true salesperson really has to experience and live in what they're selling. And I, I love the product. Mm -hmm. I also... I really love making people's lives easier. Mm. Like anything I can do to deliver that service yeah. to make your life easier and make my customer happy, yeah. that's what I think of first. And I think the sales will just come then. Yeah. Um, it's so interesting. So I'm reading a book now about telling your brand story. And one of the, one, it's by Don Miller. It's a great book. Oh, I, I think it's called get that. Story. <laughs> it's a great book. It's called Story Brand. And he talks about how when you're telling your story, a lot of entrepreneurs make, make the mistake of being the hero in the story and the audience needs to be the hero in the story. Absolutely. You're, you're the guide for the audience. Right. So what you're saying is that you're, you're there to help them. Absolutely. It's, it's, you're, you're the hero of your own story, but because you've had that experience, now you can bring someone else along. And I think that's really important. And so many women have had bad experiences shopping, um, bad advice. Um, so what's wait? Let's okay. stop, wait. Stop right there, right. girlfriend. Okay. okay. <laughs> what's some bad advice? You know, like a, a very salespeople try to put on certain things on certain bodies that don't work. Right. Right. Um, or colors. Yeah. And I feel like women just want a little help. They right. want to make something a little easier. They want to hear suggestions. They also want to hear, okay, I'm a tennis player. What What are your tennis playing clients? Mm. What do they love? Mm -hmm. um, or they'll come in and say, I'm so embarrassed. I haven't bought like new leggings in ten years. Like they don't want to go into a store and say that. They feel more comfortable with someone who's one-on-one -on -one or, or really gets them. Yeah. And I feel like the average woman today is so busy to start walking through the mall mm -hmm. and just looking. And, and customer service sometimes isn't what they might desire, right. where really zoning in on what someone's lifestyle is and what their needs are and what their time constraints are or their travel. Yeah. Uh, a lot of our clothing, although it's considered athleisure, is perfect for travel. Yeah. And I have um, a big contingent of customers who are um, retirees mm -hmm. who call this travel wear. Mm, What's new in the travel wear? It doesn't wrinkle. I can wash it overnight on the train if I have to. Um, and knowing what your c customer wants before they know. That's that's another part. Has so, been key. So educ so have their needs first. Absolutely. Make them the hero. And ed sometimes you're the educator too. Like you know before they know right. what they need. So I love that. That's great. We do. I mean, we're coming on white jeans season, yeah. right? And everyone likes some white pants. Yeah. And and we actually don't aren't selling any right now, but we'll talk about what's your kind of your summer uniform. Well, mm -hmm. what do you wear underneath your white pants? you need to be wearing seamless underpants. Yeah. They'll go, and I'll see the look of panic, like, oh gosh, where, add this to my list. And I say, I got you, girl. <laughs> you know, and we order them and we have them sent, and they say six months later, I need six more pairs. Right. And that's just forming a relationship and anticipating a need. And cross-selling, right? Absolutely. Knowing how, the, Always the upsell. Upsell, upsell, upsell yep. cross-sell, right? All right. of those yep. things. That's awesome. So when you have the opportunity to get to know someone a little yeah. better and yeah. have repeat, you know their habits. Right, and all sales is relational. Absolutely. It's, you know, and that's one thing that you don't get just by clicking. I mean, no. the, you know, the internet's great, and I'm an Amazon, oh, <laughs> I'm an Amazon user. Oh, the but boxes have, pile up in front of my house a couple times a week. Yeah, right. but having that concierge kind of level service Absolutely. to a company is really huge. And at Peach, and with all my stylists on my team, yeah. it's if you purchase once from us, if you purchase one pair of panties, let's say, or one, one top, yeah. you still receive that service. Yeah. And I think that is so important. Because yes. in, this, in this world, you don't get that. 
right. service. And we work a lot on repeat sales because of that. Yeah. So you keep talking about your team. So what are some things, you know, a lot of people when they're scaling their business, that one of the things that they need is to know how to manage team. Yes. So what would be some things you would say to other entrepreneurs who are getting ready to scale, who might be bringing on team members? What's really important to have a successful um, team, you know, team environment and culture that really drives the brand forward? I think, first of all, um, my team were super supportive group of very diverse women mm -hmm. from all over the country, different nationalities, different lifestyles. So how do you bring that together as the person in charge? That's a good question. Yeah, how do you manage uh, um, that? How do you keep them on brand and keep them motivated and keep everybody in you know, good communication? I think what's interesting about a team like mine is there's people who have been doing this for three years yeah. and there's people who've been doing this for three hours. Mm -hmm. And they're all really willing to help and support each other. Mm -hmm. And I truly think that comes from the leader of the group, mm -hmm. that they see me willing to answer one-off questions, even though our team has grown so large that it'll be easier just to throw it up, mm -hmm. you know, throw it out in the email and mm -hmm. spending that time. I think it's really important when you join a team mm -hmm. to be onboarded correctly so you know the culture of the team, mm -hmm. you know, know what research to do on your own and when to ask for help. Mm -hmm. And um, at Peach, because it is a team atmosphere, you're always, we're always, and it's a startup, yeah. Everyone is always being trained. Mm -hmm. So if you're new, yes, you have to kind of get caught up to speed on, yeah. you know, our mission and our product, but you're learning the same new programs or same new um, clothing lines just as I am. Yeah. Cool. And I, I also think that you lead by example. And um, I feel it's really important for my team to see me out in the community doing a lot of events, seeing me make a lot of mistakes. I think it's really important for them to see me still selling, even at this point when most of my job is coaching, mm. because it just sets the tone for like, we're all doing the same thing. I love what you just said, because I think a lot of entrepreneurs, they get, I and mean, I was asking specifically about sales because people get um, caught up at that spot. They, that's right. a sticking point, because they, they get nervous about right. selling. And what I hear you saying is, you just gotta get back on the horse and keep selling and keep showing up. And the other thing you said is to be visible. Yes. And that's huge. One of the things I always say is you don't get paid to sing in the shower. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be visible, you have to be in front of people and that's how you build, build that brand awareness and that brand equity with your audience. So it's, you know, I love that you said that about being Thank an you. example. We try a lot of things, you know, when you're, you're a new brand, you want to partner with like-minded, thoughtful other brands. Right. And by doing so, it, it, it just, it's really personally satisfying mm -hmm. too, yeah. but it really does grow your brand. So I really coach my team to get out there and not everything is gonna be super successful and not everything is gonna work the first time around. Welcome to entrepreneurship. Right. <laughs> but I made all the mistakes so they can skip, you know, yeah. they can skip a lot of them, yeah. you know? But I feel like also because we do operate in different regions of the country yeah. and with different, um, you know, ethnicities and different groups that everything deserves a chance to give it a shot. Like, why not? Yeah, I love that. And with a startup, that's our attitude, you know? And I love, I love, I just want to go back to the, the point that you were talking about of collaborating with other women and other entrepreneurs. Yeah. I love that that is a founding principle or value Absolutely. of the company and that you encourage this collaboration because it just leverages the expertise and, and the energy that you have already and especially on social media. Yes. Right? We were talking about Thrive and how Thrive goes on into iTunes and it's right. going to go, maybe Peach will be doing something with it and oh, that makes absolutely. it exponential. Right. But I think that's really important, especially because women are so, um, they, they collaborate so well together. It, we do. And you can tap into that power. And we really have made a huge um, We've always been collaborators, but in 2018, we really wanted to zone in on women-owned or women-managed businesses. Mm -hmm. And one way we're doing that is through, um, like I talked about Thrive events, yeah. but because we have these new great collections coming out, is working through some type of co content and or fashion show mm -hmm. where we really can support that business owner. So yeah. we come, we provide, we work together. Maybe there's the company or the boutique provides models and we yeah. provide the clothing and uh, we actually have our leadership team that travels around the country to speak at these events and uh, we've done some really great topics like flexing your internal muscle versus your external oh, muscle or what are your superpowers yeah, or yeah. purely talking. Our CEO, Janet Krauss, talking about how to break the glass ceiling. Yeah. Last week, she and I went to um, the Rhode Island Women's Summit mm -hmm. um, and that was the topic. And 
people had opportunity to really ask questions and we could support and, and make a lot of connections. So and during these Thrive events, of course, we're still selling clothes, but right. the focus is on band, brand building. And I think that will, for the long run, really build our brand. What's well, this if you one or the other, right? It can right. be both at the same time. It can be, but it's it feels good. Yes. And if it brings new clients or new eyes onto the business that we're collaborating with, yeah. it's a win right away. Yeah, and I had a guest, Cami, a, a couple of weeks ago, she talked about cause marketing. You know, yes. when you're on board for a cause, it just, it enrolls people into the cause Absolutely. and into the mission, and I love that. I love that, what you're and saying. And we do like working with a lot of um, nonprofits as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, we have two partners. One is Dress for Success, which, mm. We're going to be working with a lot more this year too. So, what was the main takeaway from the conference about the glass ceiling? What, what, how do we break through the glass ceiling? The women should. There, fifty percent of women should be. All the CEOs in the country, fifty percent should be women. Yeah. And is a very disproportionate amount mm -hmm. of um, venture capital. Yeah. Um, that is brought in by women versus men, and Janet Krause is out to change that. That's awesome. So let's shift gears again. Yes. Okay. And I love this is so cute. I oh, love this so much. So the whole thing is to be to go from the gym to work to play. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of women entrepreneurs, a lot of entrepreneurs, period, work from home. Absolutely. And you know, sometimes we come to thrive and we put on right. our nice clothes or we're behind the, the computer. So what are some what are some key pieces or looks do you think that would work really well for a an entrepreneur who works from home to have so that when they step out, they don't look like, like Oprah, I think Oprah says a schlump a dink. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, so you don't look like a schlump, like you're not in your yoga pants 24 seven. Right. Well, I think, um, especially if you work at home, because I think we could all fall into this, it's easy to throw on your pajamas. Yeah, but we, said, we, we already said that we're, we're not going to do that, that because you so, don't feel good right. when you do that. And you know, our, our client is an active woman yeah. who is maybe going to take a walk with a friend in between or a power business, a power walk. business walk yeah. um, or who um, is someone who does dress for work. Mm -hmm. But you can add our pieces to, to take you from your pre um, pre work workout to your lunch date. So what are like like three okay. things that someone a basic they need to have to up level? What was this? The Elevate your every day. What are three pieces I need to elevate okay. my every day? Or three looks, or three, three tips, okay. even three so tips about your image. I feel like um, for a female entrepreneur who you know wants that power pose and feel really really great, like a great, <laughs> a, right. mine's always a Wonder oh. Woman one. That's like my idol. <laughs> well, she's pretty uh, yeah, good. She, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I think that um, a bottom that you like a, a bottom that you feel really confident in. Yeah. Um, Peach personally sells amazing leggings that can be dressed up or down, but yeah. some women might not want to wear leggings, leggings right, all day. Right. Um, we, I think, a pair of like Ponty, which is like a stronger, more st a little bit more structured than a legging pant that supports you in all the right places, yes. and doesn't sag, and yes. is super high quality, mm. is is a have to. You had me at doesn't sag. Doesn't sag. <laughs> you know that feeling when your pants stretch out? You know? um, we sell a, a, a multiple pairs of Ponty uh, uh -huh. pants and even skirts okay. that you can. I wear with flip flops in the summer, uh -huh. and then uh, last night for Easter, I put on a pair of heels and a beautiful blouse, and I was dressed up. Okay, so we have strong, strong a Ponty like a a bottom that you can wear multiple ways. Okay, what else? One other thing, like one other thing to up level up level your. I love day. jackets. Okay, when well, you have a nice one. I, this is called our scuba jacket. Okay, <laughs> um, we. A lot. I like the idea that a jacket could go as a travel piece uh -huh, uh -huh. over your workout piece, uh -huh. or put on over like a hot jumpsuit and go out on a Saturday night. Yeah, that's a really versatile investment. And if you're wearing it three different ways, I think that's a great investment piece. Yeah. And when when I was doing image consulting training, they always talked about having that third level of dress. Absolutely. So you might, you know, that's the third thing is having right. that jacket. jacket. So I that think you could take on or off. Um, yeah. I think, and then I also think that every woman needs really quality basics, and they need. To to be replaced on a regular basis. So what, like, what's a regular white basis? T uh, like every six to nine months, okay. white t-shirts, tank tops, layering pieces. We're yeah. all cold, we're hot. Yeah. I think if you invest in quality basics and then buy some fun seasonal items, yeah. you really can stretch your wardrobe. Yeah, I think that's really important to have that structure underneath. But I, I love the jacket thing too, because 
Um, I like this one because Thank it's you. soft, and I don't like wearing really structured jackets. Absolutely. I don't think they're comfortable, and I don't think that they, I honestly don't think they flatter most women's shapes. They don't. Because and most women are like this. Right. Most, not everybody, but most. One thing you'll find about Peach's items is they're extremely thoughtful. If I describe it anyway, it'll be, they're thoughtful. Yeah. They're thoughtfully made, they're thoughtfully designed, they're built to design, we, I mean, I have clients from the age of 13, yeah. that's my daughter, she yeah. doesn't pay much, but 13, <laughs> to I have clients in their mid 80s, yeah. and I sell them the same pieces. Yeah. It's just the way you're going to wear it, you know, in an appropriate manner, yeah, so, and that's yeah, important. Structure pants, undergarments that, that are fresh, yep. that are up to date, and then a nice jacket. Something and over then, it. And then you're ready you, to roll. And I like things, and most women do too, that you can wear multiple ways, like I could wear this over my yoga stuff, go into Whole Foods and feel a little covered up and yeah. a little bit more put together yep. after You could yoga. throw a nice little scarf over it. And yep, or I could wear it like I am with leggings and booties, or I could wear it with a black jumpsuit and a great necklace and go out Saturday night. Yeah, I like that. The fact that um, you can make someone's life easier by showing yeah. them multiple ways to wear something yeah. is something you can't get on the internet. Well, it's so interesting because um, I'm, we're, we're going to wrap up in just a okay. second, but I wanted to say it's so interesting because I think that culture has changed so much that we used to always be dressed up. Yep. And then once we discovered we could work at home, it was like, <laughs> Whoa, I'm not getting right. on my yoga pants. But right. then it was like, well, that doesn't feel great because then you, you don't feel great about the way you look and you can't go from your yoga pants necessarily to, to the bar. So to have... Right. I think that the culture is changing to make it more more transitional. Yeah, I, and I, and I the the fact of the matter is, is when you you even a confident woman you put on something that makes her feel fabulous and it's different and unique and ex exclusive, and she puts it on and it fits properly yeah. and it's appropriate. She stands six inches taller. Yeah, and she just exudes so much confidence, but she's also comfortable. Yes. Yes, you so can. that's where I think Peach really meshes that together. It's that's really easy important. to wear. That's really important because if you look great but you're not comfortable, oh, you're not going to be right. focused on what you should be focused exactly. on, which is the task at hand. But I, I just love it. And I think it's so important for your brand to look on point. Absolutely. And you don't always have to be dressed up. You just have to nope. look pulled together. together. Pulled and the together. fact that you can mix and match, you know, I always say like high low. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I, and I teach clients that all the time that you can wear your really expensive pieces with inexpensive pieces and make you know mix mix peach into your wardrobe yeah and i it reminds me of sharon stone i think she was at the oscars oh, yes. where she had on the gap t-shirt t -shirt. and like the oscar don't yeah. rent a skirt yeah, like or whatever a it was. Skirt. yeah yeah right. but I, but that's also like kind of cool and hip to be to have to know how to do that and right. mix it up so like that that's where your stylist comes in yeah yeah i love that i love that so if people want to find out more about peach what is the website to go um, to it's discoverpeach.com Discover peach. backslash s backslash trish c to True. find me to find you, okay. Um, but you can also just go to discoverpeach.com uh -huh. and uh, check us out. So we talked about it a lot. We talked about the events. You're here on the show. What does it mean to you to thrive? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. Um, to thrive, is some, is, to me, yeah. means to be in a really great place with your family, professionally, and melding all that together to really be in a, in a good headspace that you feel like you're growing something, but also being really attentive to the things that are important to you. That helps me thrive. And one of the most rewarding parts that's helped me thrive with Peach has absolutely been meeting and coaching other women mm. to, for, to see them succeed. Yeah. I, that wasn't my absolute first intention when, yeah. I, when I joined the company. I, that I didn't realize that that would be so rewarding, but the best part has been seeing other women succeed. Mm, I love that. That has been so rewarding to me. Um, and it just, you know, we're growing, so it's, it's, it's great. Well, I love that. I love what you guys are doing. I love the mission. I love seeing a company of innovative women who are changing the culture and adapting to the culture so right. that women can have the lifestyle that they need to have to be who they need to be to create what they right. want to create. Exactly. So I really commend you guys for that. Well, and I want to you. thank you so much for You're coming welcome. on. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. You were a real peach. Oh, it's so real. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you to all of you for joining us as well. And until next time, here's to hitting all your high notes. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>
everyone, it's Heather again. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thrive. Every week we try to bring you people and information to help you change your life for the better, to grow your business, to expand your thinking, and to open your heart. If you did enjoy this content, I would so appreciate it if you would go to iTunes and review us. Let us know how we're doing. We'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. And if you found this information helpful or useful in any way, please share it on out. Let your friends and family know about Thrive. And finally, if you'd like to know more about me, you can visit me at heatherpaduska.com. Until next time, here's to hitting all your high notes.